Alright, C tier. Here's the point where I start to have like more average views on the shows that are more positive than negative. Anyway, let's get into it with the bottom of C tier, Mike Tyson Mysteries, and yeah, just about it. That's it. Like, I saw the show more when it was newer, and you no, know, I just thought it was okay, and that's about it. I have nothing really significant to say about it. And next is Food Wars. Uh, again, I watched this, like, back, like, in the mid-2010s and such, and, like, I was interested because I do, like, cooking and food and stuff, and, yeah, that's about it. Aside from that, there's, like, not many characters I could, like, really care about, and some of the, um, 15-year-old boob flashing does bother me, and I only saw, like, the first, like, one and a half seasons, and I don't care to go back to it, and... It does remind me of some more awkward times, and yeah, that's about it. And next up is IGPX. I feel like I just put it on here off, like, Mercy. This is a totally forgotten show that was original to Toonami, and, you know, I have some vague memories of it, and it's become a little bit of an inside joke with me and a friend, so it's like, yeah, yeah, I guess I'll put it back here. Tim and Eric's Bedtime Story, so... This is Tim and Eric that's not Tim and Eric and just has kind of some dumb random gimmick onto it that's about all I can say. I just barely remember this and I prefer the other, like, regular Tim and Eric if I had to choose. Naruto Shippuden. So, yes, this is specifically Shippuden. Uh, they're all separate on here and... You know, should be done, it's whatever, it's music suddenly shouts, um, it's whatever, it's really fucking long, I obviously haven't seen all of it, I've just seen bits and pieces, and this is me, like, ranking it based on that, I'm like, okay, whatever, and, you know, I see what happens, and I, like, Orochimaru, and I see he comes here and has that face turn, and I also, like, Kaguya, and, uh, her design and stuff, so, yeah, that's about it. And next up is One Punch Man. I used to be way bigger on this back during my awkward age, and yeah, I just don't care as much for it anymore. Uh, I put it on here just because, you know, I enjoyed watching Season 1 a lot when it was on. Uh, season 2 was very whatever, uh, very forgettable in my opinion. And yeah, that's about it. Like, I used to be a fan of this, but not so much anymore. But I will acknowledge that Season 1 can probably still be enjoyable. Alright, next up is Joe Para Talks With You. And this is a very relaxing show where he keeps on talking to it like this. And I saw this back when it's brand new. And apparently for some trivia, Joe Para actually comes from the area I live in. And I also have that entry for the website on the iceberg. This show is overall actually good at times, quite good even. However, for reasons I won't get into detail too, some of you watching the show may know about this. Uh, it can be surprisingly uncomfortable and anxiety inducing at times. That and sadly the show, like some earlier entries, fall under where it was on during a very, very, very difficult week for my life that I just want to forget about. So unfortunately, I kind of just, like, put it down to C tier like this. Sorry, Joe. Alright, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. Yes, every part of JoJo is listed separately on here. And I don't know about everybody else, because part 3, obviously, is, like, the big one that, like, everyone knows about, even if you don't do JoJo, like, fucking Jotaro and Dio are in everything represented in this part. But part 3, my least favorite. Yeah, like, I don't like Jotaro on this part. I like him better in 4. Uh, the other Crusaders are okay. I don't give a shit about most of the villains. The deal's fine. It drags on and on and on. And yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of Part 3. Uh, I used to be a way bigger JoJo fan in general, like years ago. But I've just fallen off of it since. I don't care nearly as much as I did. Now it's just like, oh, Part 6 got an anime. Okay, and oh, new video game that's basically All-Star Battle. Whatever. Uh, I'll talk more about JoJo, though, obviously, as it comes out more. 
And next up is Boruto. Yes, I've seen more of this than Shippuden, and I like the vibe of it, how it's like, yeah, the youth, and modern, and yeah, I admit I'll like it. Um, I watched it again during like a rough year in my life, and I don't really care to finish it, because why the fuck do I have the time to watch forever going on anime that won't ever end? And, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Orochimaru, I saw that moment that was pretty cool, though, where his son was like, are you my mom or my dad? And he's like, oh, well, I used to be a man, I used to be a woman, but that doesn't matter. Now, anyway, next is Squidbillies. Uh, I watched this quite a bit, a bit ago. Um, and, yeah, you know, like, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it really isn't. Uh, I don't care much for most of the characters. Like, they can be funny. I find Granny Squid getting her to be really funny. Uh, so, yeah, but that's about it. Just, like, I guess I just don't like the themes of it and stuff, you know? And after that is Symbiotic Titan. And, yeah, this is an infamous one. I watched this um, a bit when it was on Cartoon Network, and, you know, it's good. But, you know, it just doesn't have much, like, personal value to me just yet, so... Yeah, it's just sitting in seat here, I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. Alright, Eric Andre show, so, oh boy. I put this in seat here to throw it a bone, because this is a similar uh, comparison to Rick and Morty, where I used to really, really like Eric Andre, but then more recently, I, I'm just not, nah, because, you know, season 5, I didn't think was quite, like, as good good as before. There's still some things I like about it, but overall it was weaker. However, that's not the big thing. It's just that watching the show now in general is kind of harder for me to do because uh, for reasons I won't go into details here, you can maybe find it on your own, but Eric and Hannibal, for whatever reason, after season 5 was done, they both just went like, hey, you know what's cool? Being an asshole. And yeah, they just started like fucking like bragging about like shitty thing they've done before. Uh, like for separate reasons, it's not conjoined reasons. Uh, but yeah, they both like bragged about like and shitty things they did, and then like when fans called them out for it, uh, their response was just to be assholes to them in return. So yeah, but despite that, there are still some times where I can like reference the show, like the classic Lauren Conrad interview and such. So yeah, just sitting like in the middle seat here. Next up is Gundam 083. So I saw Gundam uh, a bit a while ago. I'll admit I hardly even remember which Gundam series it was. There's many, and I just put this one on to represent because I'm pretty sure it was this one. And yeah, I haven't seen much Gundam. Um, I played a game for it once on PS1, and I think the designs are cool. And, you know, it also has some nostalgia for me from just seeing it, like, aired and stuff. So I was like, alright, you can go and see tier. And next is Children's Hospital. I haven't seen this for a while. But when I did, I do recall finding it funny with, like, oh, I'll give the amnesia. Amnesia! <laughs> and... Yeah, that's it. Like, just a show I saw a while ago, I remember it being funny, but, you know, I don't have, like, much personal value for it, so C tier. And next up is Astro Boy. Uh, I remember seeing promos for this on the channel, and, you know, it's, it's Astro Boy. It's classic, I guess, and, you know, it has cool vibes to it and such, and, yeah, that's about it. So I just put it in C tier. And Star Wars The Clone Wars, uh, yeah, I remember watching this on Cartoon Network, and yeah, it's about, I thought it was cool, I never got too into it, just because I've never gotten too into Star Wars in general, and that's about it, it's just something that I acknowledge is a good show, but, you know, I just don't have much of a personal attachment to it, so it's just in C tier, which is basically what this tier is being used for, and that can go on a bit longer, uh, Voltron, I saw some Voltron, and this is similar to Gundam, where it's like, I saw some Voltron back in the day, I have some nostalgia for it now, I think it looks cool, like, setting-wise and such, so, yeah, C tier. And next up is Bleach, I watched this some back in the 2000s, uh, 
I never watched all of it, like, remotely. I'm never gonna get to that, probably, but, you know, from what I remember, I thought it was cool, the characters, some of them are cool, and I think some of the demon designs are really cool and such, and... So, yeah, Bleach goes into C tier for me. Attack on Titan. So, I saw this a bit, mostly Season 1 when it first aired on Toonami, and it was, like, huge, and... Yeah, that's about it. Like, I just saw that, and I thought it was a good enough show. Uh, I never got too attached to, like, any of the characters, but it was memorable for what it was. And, you know, there's no, like, super special place it has in me, but it, it's fine. Next up is Popeye, and, yeah, you know, it's Popeye. I watched Popeye a shit ton when I was, like, four years old and loved it. I didn't see it on Adult Swim, but, you know, it, it's Popeye, Fuck up my spinach, and yeah. <laughs> That's about what I have to say to it. Like, you know, Popeye fucking long term history with me, but you know, there's just other shows that are way more special to me, so that's about it. And next up is Clerks Animated, and yeah, I just liked the designs in the show, and you know, it's nothing that's like too exciting for me to watch, but it has its moments sometimes, so C tier. You can see these explanations are very brief, but that's just how it's gonna go for like mid tier. Next up is Kill a Kill. Uh, never saw all of this, but it always intrigued me, definitely. Uh, one of the first things I saw was some mom having her daughter chained up naked and spanking her. And I think it's for that why this show's just mostly unintentionally question mark funny for me and you know it's funny to look back at and talk about now so uh c tier and uh, okay uh i'm just gonna end it here there's nine love next up is loop in the third but then there's like a bunch of jojo after that so yeah i'm just gonna end about here uh when we pick up on this and finish the rest of top C tier, uh, it's gonna be very anime. See you then!